Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Now look, they saying they done buffed dribbling, that they done made adrenaline less of an impact, that shooting will be way easier, that attacking from the midi will be way easier than the no shot meter buff. So many different gameplay things just drop. We are going to break it down. Now listen, before I get into all of this, I am the only real content creator in the 2K community. Everyone else is a fraud. 99% of them are frauds. There is more clout to double twist the game and be fake positive, which is why they do it. There's not clout in critiquing the game. I could pull more views being a fake person. So again, why do y'all sit here and hate on someone giving honest feedback about the game? Y'all want everyone to be the same. You can go find what you want. There are plenty of content creators double twisting, trying to get flown out desperately that want to work with 2K. Every single news channel, everyone, bro, they double twist. They want to work with 2K. They are not real people they are fake people created for you because that's what you want they're not real those are not their real opinions i give real opinions you feel me so it's your choice you want to be lied to or you want someone to tell you the truth y'all sit here complain every year about the game then someone comes out and tells the truth about the game and y'all hate on them it's crazy but before we get into the rest of this y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you know Help me hit 276K. We are like 90 subscribers away. And make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. It helps young swan grow. Now let's see what Mike got to say, man. Everyone, I'm Mike Wang, and I'm the gameplay director for NBA 2K24. Uh -huh. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the gameplay highlights that are driving the underlying NBA 2K24. Wait, Today, wait, I'm going to everyone. This is. I'm going to talk to you about the gameplay highlights that are driving the underlying okay, NBA 2K24 those. experience. Okay, look, 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 look what they showing. They showing shoot over those, and they showing some paint defense. And across all consoles. Let's get started. Fade away. Leak, 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 leak. Okay. When it comes to offense, shooting and dribbling are more accessible and intuitive. And it more accessible and intuitive. What, what, what do y'all think that means? You feel me? Let let's really break it down, my boy. What does what do those words mean? More accessible means easier. More intuitive means easier. This is why I made my tweet about 2K going full casual mode, but y'all hating on me. <laughs> Bro, Bruh, I'm a genius. I've never been wrong when it comes to any 2K. You can get real news or fake news, whatever. <laughs> Enabling players of all skill levels to flourish on the court. Enabling players of all skill levels to flourish on the court. What does that mean? That, 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 that means they're catering to the negative 1% casuals, not the comp players. Why, why are y'all hating on me? I'm literally telling you the truth. What? Players who play on Hall of Fame or comp online games will be playing with green or miss shot timing for mm -hmm. the ultimate challenge. Okay. The team control modes. And by the way, the green or miss is very overhyped, if y'all didn't know. Green or miss is cool. I don't really care about it because it doesn't really make the shooting actually harder. Um, they just open up the green window so it makes it easier to green and then just whites don't go in. But even though they implemented that back in the 2K23, whites went back in, all green or miss is, is it's easier to green and whites don't go in. That means the green window opens. That doesn't mean that the past 2Ks when you green, only those go in. Like for instance, if, like for instance, say you have 20 seconds to green within that range of the 20 seconds. They now opened it to 40 seconds a way higher green window than the other 2Ks so that now those whites now turn green. That doesn't mean it's harder to shoot. A lot of y'all don't understand that, but yeah. We'll see more forgiving shot timing so you won't have to memorize every single player's release to the exact frame to find success. Do y'all hear that? You'll see more, do you, 
Bro, am I lying? Is there something? Am I being negative? Am, <laughs> am I lying? Like, what is wrong with people, bro? I'm literally just telling you what they're saying. I'm decoding it. More forgiving shot timing, green or miss. I'm literally telling you what he's saying, and y'all are hating on me. It does not make sense. Advanced layups like floaters, reverses, euros, hop steps, and scoops are much more effective this year. What does that mean? Okay. That sounds nice. Um, just going to the rim and dunking. But what, what does that mean overall? That those will be able to finish so the paint defense might be compromised. You feel me? They're, they're making a point to sell this hoe. You know, I'm just letting y'all know to both sides. That sounds interesting. Hopefully paint defense is good. Hopefully we can use some nice layups and, and et cetera, you know? And I'd encourage everyone to try out layup timing. Try it's much more time. forgiving for high percentage layups and also gives you the okay. ability to finish tough circus layups in traffic if you can master it. Y'all y'all heard what he said. Layups buffed. He's saying use that feature and just like in certain 2Ks, you can make a lot more contested layups. What 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 does that mean to y'all? E everything I'm hearing is more casual based. So why I I just don't get why y'all keep lying saying they're catering to comp players when they're catering to the casuals every year I don't, I don't get it bro for dunkers in new gen you can now force rim hangs from any two-hand dunk by simply keeping the sprint trigger held when the dunker grabs the rim okay that down on the nice. pro stick will give you flashy dunks and up uh -huh. down or down up double throws down up double throws wait wait what down on the pro stick will give you flashy dunks and up down or down up double throws down up double throws will let you attempt contact dunks in traffic contact you can now branch out of any offensive what are down up un throws dunking what the hell rebound to a putback attempt contact dunks in traffic you can now branch out of any offensive rebound to a putback attempt by simply pressing the shot button after mm. the catch post fades and hop shots are nice. also really effective shots for post post fades and hop shots man it sounded like it's sounding like they nerf it sounded like they buffed the hell out the mid-range game, dog. Those players. And you can definitely feel the impact of strength and weight as bigger players easily dominate weaker ones on the glass. Strength and weight. Now look, they've been trying to hype up this uh strength and weight stuff for years, but in no 2K has it really, really mattered, right? Unless if you're like guarding a post score backing you down. So you know, just be wary of that when y'all make y'all builds out there, man. Be careful who you watch, especially if they're doing like a player type of build. There's usually stuff you want to stay away from. If you're trying to save your money, bro, you want to spend 150 and just waste your money, build after build. And, you know, I'm just saying, like, be careful who you inspire by. Shooting has been customized and improved for all various modes, okay. difficulties and player skill levels. But okay. in order to get high percentage shots, you need to know how to create separation off the dribble. Okay. That that that's how it should be. There goes. That's the first thing that he talked about the skill gap, right? If you can create separation, you should be rewarded. Not all that contested stuff. That that is my ideology about 2K guy. One of my favorite elements in NBA 2K24 is the dribble breakdowns. Each player dribble has two versions. Regular breakdowns are done by flicking up on the right analog stick. And aggressive breakdowns are done by flicking up with sprint help. This will initiate. Does that sound like rhythm dribbles are back? Bro, I used to love the 17 uh, rhythm dribbles. They used to have them hoes in 19 too. Rhythm dribbles are definitely dope, bro. I really uh like them. Hopefully they're implemented just as good as they were in 17. That would be really nice. I would really enjoy that. You guys hear me? <laughs> It's not negativity, you hear me? God damn. Initiate a sequence of signature size up moves that you can use to create separation with on their own or branch out of at any time for an explosive drive or other dribble move combo. That sounds amazing. He said that you can break out of, that means speed boost out of at any time. So Y'all hear? There are things I like about 2K and there's certain things I don't. I'm going to be vocal about the things I don't and the things I do. Do you understand? 
I'm not no 2K hater. I want the game to be great, guys. What is wrong with y'all? I come from a different era, my boy. Different skill level. My opinions are gonna be different, different than a lot of y'all's, bro. You feel me? But that sounds amazing. Being able to burst out of everything, they really try to limit you. Back in the older 2Ks, the golden era, you could really run out and burst out of way more things than they do now. This is why people left right more because there is such a limit on the movement and dribble moves. This is what 2K doesn't realize. They're trying to make it to where, oh, one, two, three, go type stuff. But when you do that in a video game, it makes people just left right because they can't use other realistic moves to be effective. This is what y'all don't realize is what I keep trying to tell y'all, but I'm crazy, bro, I guess. This year features all new signature double crosses, hezi crosses, and escape moves. Another major addition is the blowout cool. dribble. Tapping the sprint trigger while moving. Wait, escape hold on. Moves. Let, let, let's look at this gameplay. Or branch out of at any time for an explosive drive or other double move combo. Let's look at this gameplay. This year features all. Okay. They got Paul George. All new signature double man crosses, okay. hezi crosses, and escape moves. Okay. Another major addition is the blowout dribble. Tapping the sprint trigger dribble. while moving will give you a quick burst of speed where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly on the break. Tapping, the, that sounds amazing. I like that. Do you hear me? Do you guys hear me? I like that. Tapping R2, you get small burst into your speed. That's a realistic feature. You know, you, you know, I like that. You see, I'm not no, like, what, what? But I like that. That sounds nice. I would love to see it though. Adrenaline boosts are back, but have been redesigned. Adrenaline boost is back. L. It's for the casuals. Actually hurts the casuals, not the comp players, by the way. To make both offense and defense more skill based. On nah. offense, boosts are no longer lost when pulling off dribble combos or moving short distances. That sounds amazing but we will see i do not want adrenaline in the game and look look what, what y'all don't understand is when 2k adds something new it's always broken the first year the most this is another new type of adrenaline thing that's never been like done or implemented so it's going to have issues. I'm just letting y'all know, bro. You feel me? I don't I don't like how that sounds. By the way, I did not look at none of this news, so this is first reaction type stuff. This gives dribblers much more freedom to create off the bounce. Okay, so I hope this means that when you're dribbling around that it's just not, oh, take your adrenaline, you know? And you know, he said short distances. Hopefully, so what y'all don't understand is by giving main ball handlers that freedom, that promotes actual realistic movement and not this stop and go left right gameplay. You feel me? People left righted more in 2K23 than other 2Ks, despite what y'all think, okay? Losing adrenaline won't feel like moving in mud like last year, but it Okay, so if you lose your adrenaline, you're not gonna be moving in mud. Okay, that sounds like a realistic feature because y'all know people don't have asthma on the court. That's a W. It will heavily impact shooting attributes. So if a good defender... Okay, so if you lose your adrenaline, you're not gonna be slowed down. Maybe you still will, but that's a W if you don't get slowed down, but your shooting's gonna be lost. You know, maybe they lower it by that. That sounds, it could be nice and it could like really be bad. Let, let, let's see, let's see what like rating he says it's gonna be like. You can bump the dribbler two or three times in a single possession. They'll have a really tough time scoring if they do manage to get free. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Bumping the offensive guy, and you know, that sounds amazing. Could be um OD, but that sounds amazing, okay? Too many times you be locking somebody up, they break free, ding, you know? Creating your own shot off the dribble isn't the only way to get good shots. Okay. Knowing how to operate away from the ball is just as important. Uh-oh, NBA Dexing back? Leak, 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 leak. 2K24 features new right analog stick jukes and other quick explosive moves to free yourself up for a shot. Tapping the 
that sounds like Dexing's back. How do y'all feel about that? You know, I think Dexing's one of the most unrealistic, broken things ever in 2K history. It really messed up a lot of 2Ks. A lot of 2Ks would have been a lot better without that Dexing stuff. 17 through 19, horrible, horrible with that Dexing stuff. 20 even had Dexing, but it wasn't the Dexing stretch bigs. It was just the guards. You know, so it was still OD, but not everyone really did it. But, you know, like on the twos and stuff, they were still getting. But the, the 20 stuff was more understandable. But like 17 through 19, that that type of Dexon should never be in a 2K. I hope that doesn't return. And um, yeah. Also give you a huge burst of speed to find open spots on the floor. for sp Huge burst of speed with the Dexon. I don't like how that sounds. Why do they have Jordan Poole? being guarded by Draymond Green. 2K, what is y'all doing? Tapping the sprint trigger will also give you a huge burst of speed to find this open- This is disrespectful. And you look, you know Draymond gonna be, y'all know when this happens in real life, Draymond gonna be like, going like crazy and heavy and hard at him. Cause Poole, he ain't gonna have no team, but Draymond gonna have the damn Warriors. So that, that's just kind of lame. I, I hope he cook him though. Who, who do y'all want to win in that matchup? Spots on the floor for spot up jumpers, or easy rim runs for dunks. Along with the changes to adrenaline, counter moves are big and easy rim runs for dunks. Wait, what did he say? Stick jukes and Stick other quick jukes. explosive moves to free yourself up for a shot. Tapping the sprint trigger will also give you a huge burst of speed to find open spots on the floor for spot up jumpers or easy rim runs for dunks. So tapping R2, I'm assuming he's talking about off ball. You can get huge bursts of speeds to rim run to the paint. They, they talking like this whole different, you know? The 2Ks do be different, but it, they be having the same issues overall. You feel me? I think like people are trying to come with this narrative that 2K is like always different, but it be like the same issues. Like paint D always broken, shooting always easy, fading always broken, post scoring always broken, you know? But the actual like how it works be different you know dribbling be different shooting be different but like overall the same problems be the same you know everything costs so much but yeah along with the changes to adrenaline counter moves are big in nba 2k 24. Counter perimeter moves. and paint defense are both more effective and please, reward players for making please, good reads please okay so he donovan mitchell plumber himself uh his fingers kind of his fin ah oh, 2k 2K, I got you looking crazy right now. <laughs> Why his hand look like that, 2K? His finger in the ball. I don't really care about stuff like this, but I know a lot of y'all, y'all be complaining about this. But uh, hopefully they buff paint defense and perimeter D, dog. Okay, he still got it over. Defensive movement has improved on many fronts with better responsiveness and less sliding. Better responsiveness and less sliding. That sounds immaculate. I really hope they buff the defense. Even though I play guard, guys, my favorite player used to be Scottie Pippen before Future. And then they exposed him on that whole MJ stuff, you know? So he's not my favorite player anymore. I can't rock with him. But in the older 2Ks, I used to play defense myself. When you play guard, you have to eventually turn into a role to where you have other people guard ball for you. That's just how the meta shifted. I would prefer to guard ball myself. I am a defensive guy. I played middle linebacker for football. You feel me? I'm a defensive guy, despite what y'all might think. But yeah. This helps defenders get where they need to be. And with the improved body up system, ball body handlers will have a tough time buff? getting free against leak, great leak, defenders. Leak, leak. They saying lockdowns are back. All that sounds immaculate. Let's see how it actually plays. Selling hope is worse than dope. The improved contact can also be felt in the paint. Big defensive Please anchors God. will have a much easier time putting... Do y'all actually know that the defense was worse on 23 than 22? Do y'all like know that? Like paint defense and perimeter D-wise? I don't think a lot of y'all know that. Improved contact can also be felt in the paint. Big defensive anchors will have a much easier time putting a body Please. on shooters at the rim and forcing tough shots. Please. Direction a lot of people don't think the paint defense is broken because they play straight bots. But when you play like certain type of players, you see that even when you're there or close, they still make that hole over, you know, or like right by the side of you when those holes should really miss. And they make all them little quick droppy dunks or layups and all these contested shots. And it really uh, messes up the skill gap because 
You should be rewarded on defense when you make the right play, not when you don't make the right play. Directional steals are also back. You need to reach with the correct Wait. hand, enforcing tough shots. Directional steals. Directional steals are also back. You need to reach with the correct hand, closest to the ball, and avoid Ow. reaching across the body to maximize success and avoid foul calls. You can that sounds like right stick stealing is in the game. Hey, 2K17, it was, I think, I'm pretty sure it was broken right and then they nerfed it i think they nerfed it but that sounds good if you use the right hand you know the steals is cool but listen the here here it goes with the steals which a lot of y'all don't understand the steals can't just be rng you should have to bump ride pause play a defense you know you should have to actually make contact with him to get the steal and the rating should have to be there and you should have some type of defense on your player right in so many 2Ks, those did not line up. You could just go up to him and take the ball. That's very unrealistic. It's very skill reducing, and it's not real. If you bump him all that, and you stop him and do all that, and you're on the right side right there, please take that hope. But when you could just run up, and now people are basically playing a game of football to where you have to run from your defenders and not basketball where you have to size up your defender that's not real ball that's not real hoops but a lot of the casuals and sim heads who try to claim they want real ball they want that type of stealing system no you should have to actually bump and play defense not just go up and press square and take it that's not real you feel me you can also use directional steals to play passing lanes by flicking the right stick in the correct direction to get your hand in the way and deflect the pass that sounds nice. Takeover returns to NBA 2K24, but with a different spin. Instead of assigning a takeover ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. On the fly takeover. So when you make your builds, ain't no more takeover, my boy. Hey, I come from an era where there was no takeover. I would prefer a 2K without takeover, by the way, and without Hall of Fame badges. I felt the gameplay was more balanced, but it's more casual based now, and you, you gotta adapt to it. So y'all thinking I want some like crazy arcadey 2K? It's not true. You're lost. <laughs> I want a skill gap 2K, my boy. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can choose between finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense rebounding, or physicals. You can choose your own takeover on the fly. That's crazy. That sounds nice. We gonna see how it work. If you delay your takeover and fill up double takeover, you can choose two different categories of ratings to boost. Damn, that sounds nice. Good implementation. Hopefully it's executed right. That sound nice, that sound cool. You, you feel me? Making you a true threat on both ends of the floor. Okay. 2K Smart Play is back, making play calling more accessible for everybody. As you bring the ball up court, an overlay will come up recommending the best play and player for that possession. <laughs> they done got a recommended system in this hole. I know you casuals is, is liking that. That's good for the casuals because I want y'all casuals to thrive too. I want y'all to have fun too. I want the game to do tremendously well. I want things like that implement. You, you, you feel me? Y'all got me all wrong. Left bumper before crossing half court to run it. Okay. And to call your favorite plays, Press the directional pad to the left and choose from up to 16 of your preferred actions. Okay. You can call anything. And by the way, I'm gonna be posting a lot of different content. I really wanna get back into play now, bro. Like my, my old days before uh, the park existed. I used to be heavy on that, bro. I think I'm gonna start posting that type of stuff. Y'all let me know if y'all wanna see it, man. From full plays to ISOs and give and goes. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. Ultra-realistic gameplay. This other trailer, it's that pro play. Ooh, they showing blow-bys, damn, and he grunted. Grunts, grunts, leak, leak, leak. Damn, so you could just bull through somebody? Bully, bully return? Leak, 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 leak! You could just shoulder charge in it? Yeah, yeah! Damn, so I guess like being a bigger type of main ball handler, you're gonna be able to bully through a Jimmy Butler? Looks kinda alarming, man. Fade away. Over and over. Over and over. Oh, oh, 
uh oh <laughs> cybernetic technology basically what pro play they saying that they got cameras in the nba and now they could just they don't have to have people mocap they could just take that footage and apply it to the game oh <laughs> oh damn oh <laughs> damn kd be moving in slow-mo huh hey these dribble moves looking kind of slow i ain't gonna hold you they looking like slow-mo curry looking slow-mo yeah he looks slow that's a red flag i ain't gonna hold you bro i don't know bro but i mean it is play now who knows whatever cinematic stuff but it, it kind of looked like really kind of slow with the movement you know but this is cinematic so who really know but if you're moving like that it's gonna be mad easy to play defense on people but um Probably not, bro. You know, this play now. Who knows? Oh. Overdose. Look look how uh, disrespectful 2K is. The pool and Draymond thing. Like, this ain't no normal beef. Like, Bull really, like, KO'd him. Okay, we already seen that. Okay, we already seen that. Okay, perimeter D. Sending that hole. Fade away. Fade in your mouth. Ooh. Yeah, doing bad. Okay. Dunking on somebody? Damn, dunking on Jimmy Butler. Who y'all say better, Jimmy Butler or Giannis? Hey, Jimmy got clamped, so they just, they saying if you as big as Giannis, big point guards leaked? I'll be an OP again. Ooh, yammed on that bull. Okay. Hey, they, they said the layups was buff now. Okay. Ooh, that's a floater. Floaters. Floaters return. Leak, 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 leak. Floaters ain't been OP in a while, bro. To be honest. Was it in 19 were they OP? I don't think in no year they've ever been OP. They've always been kind of inconsistent. And I'm talking about when, when I speak, I be speaking like from a comp perspective, like when someone's actually good, not just y'all playing straight bots that are like worse than you or whatever. I'm talking about like for someone that's actually compy, like floaters ain't never been about nothing. Okay. Nice graphics. Okay. Hey. It looked cool. I'm finna drop a bunch more videos today, so y'all make sure y'all go check them out, man. I'ma really break this whole down, give you the honest feedback that the other YouTubers aren't giving. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.